This is Gadwa, where Chancha, the Brahmin's daughter, slandered by the Buddha by claiming that she was pregnant and the Buddha was the father of the child. Folks, this is Gadwa. It is just 800 paces from the Jani Jot, which is the stupa where Kukali, the Bhikshuni, slandered the Buddha, saying she had an affair with him. So folks, this is Gadwa where Chancha, the Brahman's daughter, slandered the Buddha. How I came to this conclusion? Please view the entire video. Now, after showing us uh, Devdatpur where Devdat <coughs> tried to kill the Buddha, poison the Buddha, but by mistake poisoned himself and died. Zhang Zhang shows us Jani Jot where uh, Kukuli the Bhikshuni she slandered the Buddha, claiming that she had an affair with him and where she died, that is Jani Jot, means to squander away your life. Now, after that, Zhang Zhang takes us to another Buddha slanderer, that is Chancha the, Chancha the Brahman's daughter. Now, Chancha the Brahman's daughter, she was seeing the popularity the, the Buddha had. She wanted that popularity to go to the heretics, to the Hindus. Anyway, she, what do you call it, uh, goes to uh, thing and she uh, puts a, uh, what do you call it, uh, log against her stomach, claiming that she was pregnant with the Buddha's child. But what happens is, a uh, the, the strap opens uh, the strap opens and the log falls down in the middle of the congregation and the people they jeer at her that uh, so this is uh, one person picks up the log and says oh so this is your child so basically uh, uh, that's the spot where the uh, chancha the brahman daughter who tried to slander the buddha died now that is Gadwa. Gadwa means ditch. Zhang Zhang says he she fell down into a ditch and she fell down into a ditch which took her to hell. So that is Gadwa. Now the accuracy of Jani Jodh being the Kukuli the Bhikshuni is ditch where she died. And the Gadwa, uh, Chancha the Brahman's uh, ditch where Chancha died is that they were just, according to Zhang Zhang, only 800 paces away from each other. Both these stupas were just 800 paces away from each other. So, these two cases of slandering the Buddha must have happened simultaneously. And uh, basically, this area, uh, Devdatpur, Jani Jot and uh, Gadwa, were, can be regarded as anti-Buddhist area anti-Buddhist area. This is the heretics, the Hindu area, where the very strong attempt to, to slander the Buddha took place. So, uh, Gadwa is the place where Chancha, the Brahmin's daughter, uh, died and went into hell. Folks, check out what Zhang Zhang has to say and then I will sh uh, show it to you in satellite pictures and then you can see the place, your, uh, what you call it, the pictures of uh, Gadwa your, uh, yourself. I will show you the pictures. So check out first what Zhang Zhang has to say. Now let's see where Chancha the Brahman's daughter fell down into hell and died. See, we saw the, in one video I showed you where Devdat, he tried to poison Buddha, but uh, the earth opening, he went down alive into hell where Devdat died. That is Devdat Puer. Then I showed you where Kukuli the Bhikshuni slandered Tathagat and went down alive into hell. That is south of Devdatpur. So that is Jani Jot which I showed. Now to the south of Kukli ditch about 800 paces means at 800 paces only. That's around 2000 feet. Uh, uh, south of the Kukli ditch paces is a large and deep ditch. Chancha the daughter of a Brahman culminated Tathagat here and went down alive into hell. Buddha was preaching for the sake of devas and men, the excellent doctrines of the law. When a female follower of the heretics, seeing from her afar the lord of the world surrounded by a great one, a great congregation who venerated and 
reverence him toward us which has, uh, has, uh, with herself I will this very day destroy the good name of the Buddha I will this very day she, uh, uh, I will this very day destroy the good name of this Gautama in order that my teacher may alone enjoy a wide reputation then trying then tying a piece of wood next to her person she went to the garden of Anatha Pindada that is Kikuto that is Galkara and in the midst of the great congregation she cried with a loud voice and said this creature of yours has had private intercourse with me and I bear his child in my womb the, uh, the offspring of the Sakya tribe the heretics all believed it but the prudent knew it was a slander at this time Sakya the king of Devas wishing to uh, dissipate all doubt about the matter took the form of a took the form of a white rat and nibbled through the bandage that fastened the wooden pillow to her person. Having done so, it fell down to the ground with a great noise which startled the assembly. Then the people witnessing this event were filled with increased joy and one of the crowd picking up the wooden bolster held it up and showed it to the woman saying, Is this your child, thou bad one? Then the earth opened of, uh, opened of itself and she went down whole into the lowest hell of Avicii and received her due punishment. Now let's see where this is. So here we have Devdatpur where Devdat tried to kill the Buddha died. This is Jani Jot where Kukuli the Bhikshuni slandered the Buddha and died and now this is South Hume Science just says only 800 paces, 2000 feet. In fact, now these two villages, now they are villages because people have settled down on the stupas and kept the names alive. So my Buddhist friends, you are very lucky that villages settled down on the stupa because they kept the names alive and it's easy, easily tracked in satellite pictures with Hume Sang's book. Now this is Gadwa. Gadwa means a ditch. So this is the ditch in which Chancha, the Brahman's daughter, falls down into hell and dies. So folks, check out the pictures of Gadwa, where Chancha, the Brahman's daughter, falls down into hell and dies. And folks, Yun Sang says the distance is 800 paces, that is 2000 feet between these two. Now it has become less because you know villages have settled and they have, ex they have expanded so the empty space in between has become less. So folks check out the pictures of Gadwa where uh, the Chancha the Brahman's daughter fell down into hell and died. And that's the spot where she slandered the Buddha claiming that uh, the log in her stomach was a child and that Buddha was, had uh, fathered it. Check out the pictures of Gadwa. Okay, now folks, this is your Gadwa. Gadwa, where Chancha, the Brahman's daughter, slandered the Buddha by putting a, a log against her stomach and claiming, uh, see the, you can see the board of Gadwa village behind me, and claiming that uh, the child in her womb is uh, the Buddha's child. Anyway, the people see through her uh, what you call it, uh, see through her lie and uh, uh, the Sakra king of Devas comes and opens his trap. Now it is the strap opens. Of course, uh, Zhang Zhang is a Mahayana Buddhist. So he says Sakra king of Devas ke, came as a rat and nibbled it into the strap, causing the strap to open and the log to fall out. So the Shancha, the Brahman's daughter got red, well, caught red handed uh, slandering the Buddha, attempting to give him a foul name. Basically, she was a follower of the heretics, and she want she seeing all the crowds gathering around the Buddha. She wanted all those crowds to gather around the uh, the heretical the heretics whom she revered, 
so she uh, what do you call it uh, devises this uh, uh, what do you call it uh, obnoxious plan of slandering the buddha uh, what do you call it but she gets uh, chancha gets caught red handed and uh, what do you call it uh, the people uh, what do you call it uh, make fun of her anyway we must thank zang over uh, ashoka for securing these vague uh, buddhist historical spots with stupas and you must thank zang zang for uh, what do you call it uh, noting all these the places down uh, so that i could uh, search them out and locate them so folks thanks zang zang and if you like this video or found it educative don't forget to follow like and subscribe to my page buddha exhumed and don't forget to tell your friends and relatives about this